Thank you. Um, as you know, uh, Russia has decided to ban any imports from Western e economies, but of course their consumers will still want food. And I'm just wondering if the Commission with its research department has noticed a rather suspicious increase of EU exports to Belarus, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and other of the old Soviet Muslim states, and maybe even Mongolia. That would indicate to us there was a little bit of backdoor exporting going on to, the, to Russia. Thank you. And then the last point on the Russian <coughs> Federation. Uh, yes, there was a, a certain amount of a pickup in trade uh, from, from Belarus into Russia and perhaps from one or two of the Balkan countries. This can be for, for any, of, any of three reasons. One is there could be some uh, mislabeling or fraud. We don't know, frankly. Uh, I mean, Russia is working with the Belarus authorities, for example, to see if that has been an issue. Secondly, um, at, we, we were no longer able to export cheese to Russia. So what, what happened was that the um, dairy uh, producers exported milk to Belarus and the, and the transformation into cheese was done in Belarus and perhaps some other countries, and then it was exported legitimately into, into Russia. So I mean, that, that is simply a, a, a business choice to, um, to, to do the, the processing in Belarus. And thirdly, there's been some uh, displacement. Um, we, we, uh, we could no longer export um, pork to Russia, uh, so uh, other countries in the region started filling that gap exporting pork to the Russian market. We, in turn, exported pork to that third country uh, which uh, was, was exporting its own product to Russia. So there are a number of ways in which the trade patterns have changed, and it's not all to be assumed to be a sort of nefarious activity. Thank you, Chair.